I've got eight fall outfit formulas for you, classic fall outfits, and the best part is since these are mostly classic styles involved in these outfits, you probably already have these outfits in your closet. You just need to put them together and make them up in the ways that I mentioned or not, if you don't like them. But it might be a great video to come back to if over the fall you get in a style rut and you're like, I have nothing to wear even though I have a million clothes. You might wanna come back to this video and check it out for some ideas. By the way, I this is not my normal setup and um, I'm trying to completely redo my fireplace. I just kind of stuck that there for now. Um, I just, yeah, it's just my whole living room. I've kind of torn it apart. So um, I'm not gonna show you what's What's over there? It's embarrassing. The first outfit formula I have for you is a knit top, a skirt, and flat shoes. These could be loafers, they could be sandals. I love the balance of a long sleeve knit top, not too tight with a mini or midi skirt. Then since it's fall, some kind of ballet flat or loafer looks great here, but of course sandals work as well if it's warm enough for you. It will definitely be warm enough for me. You could also add tights to this outfit as the weather gets cooler. I talked about balance a lot in my videos and I love the balance of like kind of a tighter skirt, not super tight, you know, but just something more fitted and then balance it out with more of a looser top and especially more of a long sleeve top. Next one is a super classic outfit for fall, very classy and classic and timeless, all those things and sophisticated, but it's a button down, some denim that doesn't have a ton of rips in it maybe no rips, maybe very minimal distressing. I like sandals here because I live in Florida and I can do that. But if you have cooler months, something with more toe coverage might be what you need on the shoes. And then the icing on the cake here and what really pulls this outfit together is your accessories. I love adding accessories here because this outfit is such a good backdrop for something exciting on your arm or your neck or ears or your waist, like a belt. So I love adding belts to this look because it makes it look so stylish. You can get a little bit more funky here or you can keep it classic. I feel like this outfit formula always looks classic and classy. It's just such an easy go-to when you're like in a rush, you have nothing to wear, but you just grab your button up, grab some jeans, throw on some shoes that work for whatever weather you got going on, put some jewelry and you're done. <laughs> the next outfit formula I have for you is a fitted cardigan or a V-neck in some sort of way. I love v-necks, especially if you have a larger chest, v-necks are great, and denim boots. I love a good cardigan that comes in at the waist or hips, especially if you have a larger chest like I do, it just helps to have something that comes in a little bit. I also love the exposed neck here as everything else is really covered. This is another one where you can easily add jewelry, whatever accessories that you really like to play around with, sunglasses, something like that. This next outfit formula is one that I've mentioned in many videos because I love the juxtaposition of something a little bit more fancy and like, you know, buttoned up and paired with something more casual and basic and relaxed. So I love trousers here and then making it very casual on the top. So I feel like if you add a button down here, it would be more like a corporate looking outfit. But if you added, you know, denim shorts here, it would look very, very casual. But the casual top mixed with the kind of more fancy trousers on the bottom, it just makes it look like a cool outfit. And I feel like it looks relaxed, but still look very put together. Our next outfit is a blazer, a mini skirt, and then you can add boots or flat shoes. I really love this look. You could add a belt to make it more interesting, but you don't have to. So underneath, I would do a fitted top, and you could even do a turtleneck here if it's really cold where you are, and also would look really cute if you're going to need to remove the blazer at some point. This next one is super simple, and I feel like this actually becomes a lot of people's uniform over the fall, but it's a basic top or tee, or even a tank top if your weather allows it, jeans on the bottom, and a moto jacket. And then of course you can add some boots. You could also change out the jacket for a blazer, and you could also do something more interesting with your shoes. The outfit is obviously very easy to do, very easy to pull off, and it's just such, it's like one of the most classic outfits timeless outfits that you can come across, especially with the blazer, basic tee and jeans. I've mentioned another video that was an outfit that Princess Diana would wear a lot and it still looks relevant even today. I wanted to add the moto jacket in here because those have been really big and especially if you want kind of a more of an edgy look, you can wear the exact same outfit, throw the moto jacket on and it looks completely different than it does with a blazer. Adding that third item, as we know, can automatically make your outfit look more stylish and put together and so I just love that this is such a simple, simple, easy outfit, but it looks so good. Now, if you like cowboy boots, which some of you guys do, some of you don't, if you are into cowboy boots, I love this outfit formula. Just a basic top on top, nothing crazy, 
basic jeans, not distressed, nothing crazy going on, and then add your cowboy boots. Make the cowboy boots be the focal point of that outfit. I put together this black on black outfit, which for some reason made me immediately think of Dwight Yoakam singing Suspicious Minds, but then I went and looked at that video and he's not really wearing that, but anyway. Now you can obviously go way more exciting with your outfit with cowboy boots, but since we are talking about classic fall outfits, I felt like this might be the way to go. Going off that last look, you can take the same look, the basic top, basic jeans, and just add a low heel. You have a very simple, simple outfit, but it's very classic. But then you wanna add some accessories to make it pop a little bit more. And of course, my go-tos would be a statement watch, statement sunglasses, maybe a cool bag, have um, some layered jewelry, maybe your jewelry is mix and match, or just even simple dainty jewelry works great here if that is your Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, or a thumbs down if you didn't. Um, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.